Shout out to BN Mishra because of whom I'm recording this video today. Good you guys, this is Asha Kapoor and again welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna talk about how to monetize your app with ad networks. Now many people will say, Asha, why are you making this video? There are already tons of resources available from where we can learn both on internet as well as on Google. Then why? What's the need of making another video on monetization only? Well, this is so because many videos, most of the videos which are available on the internet or on the or the, on the resources are based on AdMob. And I have already seen so many people that have got their AdSense account banned due to some activity due to some activity or maybe because without any reason because Google have strict policy so they are looking for an alternative so this video is not at all dedicated to ad mob this video is dedicated to another alternative to monetization which is start apps start apps is yet another ad network provider which provides advertisement so that one could monetize app easily and earn the revenue so uh, what you gotta do is Quickly go on to the Google and type start apps just as I do. Once you enter the search key, now you may find the first link which is appear here. You just have to click it and start apps website will open up. So this is how the main homepage of start apps look like. All you gotta do is register if you haven't before and quickly fill up the form and do the regist registration formalities and right after you register it, you can open it. So since I have already my account in start apps, I will directly log in it. Once you are ready with your account, the next thing you need is an Android project ready with you so that you can integrate those ads which are provided by startups in that particular app. So in my case, I have already created this app before which you have already familiar with if in case you have seen my previous videos about WebView and stuff. This is the same app that we, are, that we have seen in our previous examples so what i want is i just want to implement those ads to this app so that i could directly monetize it so the first thing which we have to do is open up the startup page click on add a new app insert your app url in case it is on it is already on play store but in my case it is not so i'll click here haven't published your app yet just click here so once this uh, so once this uh, opens up just insert your names in my case the name of my app is my web demo so I will insert it my web demo yeah so right after this you are gonna be asked to select a platform in which you have to select Android and uh, just ignore this for now and click add app So once this window pops up, you just need to go to download SDK and in this resource center, go to Android and here click on SDK integration manual. Right after it loads up, just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and follow the steps. So the first step it is asking us to do is add this line to our dependencies in the project so i'm gonna do it just copy it from here Control c click your project open gradle scripts then build.gradle scroll down and here with all the dependencies add these dependencies anywhere you want like i'm gonna click on here and copy this the next thing which you gotta do is sync now and wait for the gradle to sync so once the gradle finish finishes off the next step which we have to do is go back to this page and find follow the necessary steps so the next step which we have here in is updating the android manifest file with all these permissions now this is an optional step which you gotta do the compulsion here is at least you have to enable the internet so that can use the internet connection to load up the ads so the first step is go to the android app then 
manifest now since i have already given the android permissions like of uh, since i have already given the internet permissions then next i would prefer to do is access course location so that i could so the user could be shown the location based app the more permissions you add up the more easy targeting will be there for the advertisement and for the company so here i have just added both of the permissions so the next step let's follow this resource so the next is initialization so we have to copy this again start apps sdk.init this your app id true so here we just click on main activity because this is, you can use it in any so i'm gonna go to main activity then on main activity right after on create right after on create before before this so okay so it is asking us to call insert this method here right after super dot on create and before set content view so here it is giving me an error if if this is the same for your case too just click on this and press alt enter alt enter yeah so this the classes will load up okay let's move forward so so let me explain about you guys this function this function is just initializing the ads uh, startup as sdk so that it can load up the ad here we are using this this means the activity we are in it and you here and right after this what you gotta do is you have to copy your app id here so the app id is here just go to my apps my web demo my web demo then copy this app id from here and control c and here just copy your app id now this is true this is true uh, this true is for return ads like if you are working in an app then suddenly if you close your app by mistake or knowingly and that app is run running in background and whenever as soon as you resume on that app the ad will pop up this ad mind you will be the interstitial one so in case if you don't want your users to get irritated by this interstitial ads coming without just after uh, just after returning to our app you may want to do it false otherwise if you want you can enable it in my case i'm doing it false because i don't like these kind of ads so next thing which you gotta do is just come back here ignore this thing for now if you want to go through this just read it out and find it yourself what it say what it is saying right after this go down go down go down go down go down, go down. yeah okay so start app has this thing by default enable that whenever the user opens up your app for the very first time or every time he opens the app the splash ad will show up the splash ads splash ads are nothing but an interstitial ads which loads up and shows to the user as soon as the app loads up so if you don't want this to happen you just type here start app add dot disable splash all right so here we have dis disabled the splash ads now it won't disturb the user so the next thing which we are going to do is this is a, this is what i told you about the return ad in case you want to know about more much about it you can go through this so then now what we have is interstitial ads interstitial ads uh, before that let's talk about banner ads come to click on banner ads here so this is how banner ads are implemented in sorry guys but interstitial ads will be covering up in the next video that too if you are interested in so if you're interested kindly comment it out below so that i could be assured that you are interested and could make the video separately thanks a lot start apps using start apps just copy this thing go to uh, any of your xml whatever wherever you want to place your ad network in in my case i want a banner ad right here so just click on the text and follow my lead go here go here go here yeah right after this 
I want my ad job to appear. So here is the ad. So this is my ad. Yeah, this will be my ad. So let's constrain this further so that it should up. I'm gonna constrain it further. Okay. All right, so we have completed our banner ad implementation here. I think it should work fine. Let's run the app and check that if it is working or not. I will run the app in the emulator to see if it works or not. So the app has been launched in the emulator and as you can see it should load up the ads. Let's wait for it a little bit so that it would get the ads from the network. And you can see the ads are loaded. So in this way you implement start app ad in your Android app. Mind you the start app ads has a little less payout than what Admo offers but it is pretty much less strict when it compared to google so hope you got the video and how to do it so this was all about the video guys hope you like it by me in case you want to know about interstitial ads and all kind of ads provided by startups and how to implement them Please comment down below so that I could know if you guys are so that I could know that you guys are interested. And so now I think you guys have completely understood all the procedures which are required to be done in order to implement startup ads in your entire in order to implement them in your apps. So this is how the banner ads are implemented. In case you want to know about all the entire different kind of apps that start apps offers be it interstitial ads be it return ads and whatever just comment down below so that i could know if that you guys are interested and then i will make the video accordingly so i hope you guys have learned something today in this video and if you like this video just give it a like and share to as many people as you can it would grow my youtube channel along with this don't forget to subscribe your channel till then see you next time goodbye Thank you.